Hi, it's Maggie Davis, aka Mini Minx on YouTube and The Captain. Um, I'd just like to share with you this handmade vintage junk journal that I've been working on and it's Christmas themed. Um, it will be for sale on my Etsy. Um, I've not been on it for ages but um, I thought with Christmas coming up I was going to get back into doing a little, some sort of journals etc. Um, this the size of this journal is eight and a quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. It's like a book and it does stand. So it does stand there, it'll probably fall just now. That's 21 centimetres by 12 and the spine is about one inch and which is about three centimetres. Um, I've actually put a parrot clasp on here and attached a little charm that's got beads and funky fibres on it. You could take that off, you don't need to have it. It's actually a page finder that I've put inside. Um, and that's the bottom of the page finder. I have had attached a large gold bell, Santa Jingle Jangle, and I've put a button on it. And I've just attached that with a gold bulb pin. So you could take off this little bell off there, but obviously the page finder is attached. Um, I've laminated the cover just because you get spillages sometimes at Christmas. And that's beautiful paper inside. And I thought it'd be easy to wipe down. Um, just, just something quick before I... Um, show the inside of it. Um, in case people don't know what a vintage junk journal is, um, I'd just like to say that most of my papers that I use, I do use some some from books that I've bought, maybe um, second hand or whatever, but the majority of my papers are brand new. So if it's a pattern like this, this journal, all the papers in it are new, but I've maybe made them to look old. So for example, I've uh, there's coffee stain papers in here which started off as coffee or paper or whatever and I've ripped or whatever put coffee on it put in my oven to bake to make them look old and vintagey so um the part of it the reason it's called a vintage junk journal is the fact that I want it to look old um in it if it was brand if I wanted it to look brand new I could make one like that and I wouldn't I wouldn't call it a vintage journal so just just to let you know that's what you'd be buying um, it's not, it's, you know, these are papers that I've altered, altered in some way to make them look old and worldly. Um, so in this, I've, I've made a raffia tie closure. Um, there's a page finder, um, this long thing here, which um, when you're journaling, you can find the page that you were last working on. Um, there's a handmade key charm on the spine, which is that, that I've said. There's a wooden gift charm here that I've just uh, tied on with a bit of baker's twine. You could take that off and put it somewhere else. Um, it's a little wooden charm. Uh, and there's, there's lots and lots of pages like coffee stain papers, pattern papers, some handmade notebooks, tags, notelets, stamping. And there's stickers being put inside that are Christmas stickers that I've stuck on two pages. There's flip ups and flip outs. So... I've decided as well, um, I thought it would be better with the laminate. I just make, it makes a journal stud there, doesn't it? Um, and I've got inside front and back pockets on this. Um, and I've just made a little notebook on each side. So this little notebook, it's just paper on the front and copy of paper on the inside. I haven't actually put that paper on the back. I've just stapled the top, put a little sticker on it and it quite a few pages off copy of paper. Can I just say with the inside cover I left it white and um, if you were into like painting or spraying or whatever and you want to like colour in or you know there's those pens that have got the water in them or whatever you could actually use the laminate side on this to mix up your paints and then just wipe it off. Just another wee idea eh. So inside here this was the page finder so I will say that this has been recycled. It was a choker no, I didn't wear it, but it was a, a choker and I've glued that bit at the top and added the charm. And I've, this bit here, there's a chain on it and I've added, I'll just show you it like that. With a gold bulb pin, I've put on a a bell, Santa's bell and a little pink button. Oh, my favourite knot. So you could use that anywhere in the journal to see where your pages are or whatever. It slots down. I've made sure it's long enough, but I've kept it in the front bit at the minute. So quickly show you some of the pages. So some stamping down there that you could colour in. Some beautiful papers here um, in that in this journal. Merry Christmas and Santa on his uh, sleigh there. So we'll just quickly go through as fast as I can. And if I can get that's copier paper, by the way, on there. A little bit stamping here, 
um, as most people know, when I do my stamping, I do it once the book's made, so the stamping isn't always perfect, but that doesn't bother me either. Um, I've just done some tab tops here and stapled it on. So this wee page there, it says no underneath, and you could put a picture on it. So three little birds at the top there that you could colour in on a branch. Is this a flip up? I think it is a flip up. A peekaboo. Coffee paper there. I've stamped on this and put some little um, sticker stars on there. So you get the just that there's this flips up. So just to create an extra space for tuck spots. Oh, that's quite nice paper as well there, isn't it? And there it's Christmas holly on that. It's another page there, sorry. And some bells that I've decided to stamp them up the side. You could colour them in. Like this one flips up. So I'll just hold that, flip that up. So quite a lot of pages. And that one. So I've stamped there along that bottom. It was a coffee coffee stain paper. I've made a little tag here and slotted it in at the side but it doesn't want to come out but it is now. I've just glued down part of that side and it opens up. So I'll just show you. And I've ripped this one <clears throat> at the sides. It's not cut so that you can just write something in um, just to give it a vintage look. So I'm falling out there. On that beautiful paper that's on the back of the book. Um, made a little tag again here. Just a stick. I've just ripped a bit of paper off the top, and what I've done is just a little tuck spot there. I just stapled that on. Um, but you could put them elsewhere if you chose. Right, I'm just trying to hold this up to see if it can see it on camera. This one I think flips up, flip up there, and you could put a picture or something. Journaling, plenty of space for your own ephemera after Christmas or during Christmas or just writing your thoughts. Um, I hope Christmas is a happy time for you, for everyone, anybody watching this. I understand it can be quite a sad time as well for a lot of people that lost loved ones. But I just hope that, um, that nobody's on their own. And if you are, I'm wishing you a Merry Christmas and giving you a Scottish hug. Um, I, hope, I hope you have a good day no matter what. Um, I don't. I don't think anybody should be on their own at Christmas. I don't like that. Um, so I've made a little tuck spot here again. Just ripped a bit of paper down the edges and folded it. Very simple, just to create like a tag, um, somewhere that you can journal and you could put a wee picture on the front if you wanted, and a flip up, and some more of the stamping, which is quite nice actually. A little tag fell out the bottom there, but I'll find where it goes in a minute. I can see it. I decided I wasn't wanting to glue my wee tuck spots, so I've just made there, I've created, I've just added a bit of paper front and back and I stapled it. And what I've done is made another little tag here and I've just tucked it in like that. That's That was the idea. I think it was that page it came from, or it could be, it's not this page, it is that side, I think I had it, in there, just tuck it in, just like that. But I mean, you could glue that edge if you wanted to, it would probably hold in better, but... Right, I'll get on with this. So, another idea is just to add a bit, whatever, to a page is... A little bit of paper that you've used throughout it, you can either glue it down, staple it on, and it just gives it a tab, a tab top and sort of sticks out a bit better, doesn't it? And that's the centre of the um, the vintage junk, Christmas junk journal. And I've, what I've done is glued these two on front and back, and then that on that side. I thought that paper is absolutely beautiful. I don't know what you call these wee birdies. Um, they're Christmas something, aren't they? But I think they're absolutely adorable. Um, and some drink, could be alcoholic, non-alcoholic stuff in there. So I've done a little flip out page there because I didn't want to waste the paper. But you could glue along the bottom, glue along the top and have a tuck spot in there. Like a pocket, side pocket if you chose. Um, but I quite like it like that. Then another one here, I've flipped it out like that just so it's a, a full page. Just to create some extra space here. 
Um, oh, that's little Harris coming to say what's his mama doing. Um, you might have heard his little paws there. There's a flip up here. Geek boo. And what have we got now? So we've got this paper here and that little birdie again. It looks like a, is it a chicken? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's pretty. Um, so we've got this side. Merry Christmas up there. Um, some Christmas trees stamped on there. And then we've got flip up, a flip up like that. And then this one, a little tag on there, double tag like that. And then it flips out. So it just slots in like that and flips out like that. So you've got a full page on there. Those ones slipping out there, eh? So what else have we got here? We've got this page. Quite a strong colour, but nonetheless Christmassy. And then flip up. So as you can see, you're getting quite a lot of pages in here for and that paper's quite nice as well. There's a little squirrel there. I hope you can see it. Try to get the nuts off the Christmas tree. Anyway, maybe, or maybe try to get Santa's cookies. <laughs> right, so I've made just a little tag there and that slips into that little space there. On there. Um, right, coffee stain paper there, Merry Christmas at the top, and then the flip up, flip up like that. And then we've got another tag here that I'm slotting into this page. So sometimes that's a good idea as well. When you're using paper that's quite strong and bold and you're trying to break up that image, then little tag, little tuck spot. Add in a different bit of paper and it can just, it still matches in the things, but it can break up that strong paper. So we've got coffee stain paper here on that one. And then a flip up again. And then this one here on that side. And this one flips out. So I just didn't want to cut that paper off because I thought that's just too nice. So... Uh, another way is just to fold it and then you've got the choice making a pocket, tuck spot, whatever you want. Pardon me. And then this one flips out. So it's got a little tag on it, then it flips out like that. And I've done a bit stamping down there that you could colour in. So this is it's, this is going to be for sale on my Etsy, Minx Creations UK. And I thought I'll just do the little video to let people see what they're getting. Flip up there, that lovely paper. And this one flips out. So plenty of space to add your own ephemera or just journal to your heart's content. Maybe your thoughts on Christmas. Um, I know a lot of people suffer from the sad disorder at Christmas. It's a little hologram. Um, and I've noticed here in Bonnie, Scotland, that people... This is before Halloween that people were putting their Christmas lights up and I think it's their way. Maybe it helps them. Maybe the lights make them feel happy and that inside. Um, sad. I know you can get those sad lights. I used to work a night shift. And it's, it's season and disorders and I found it quite difficult, um, especially when it was dark and going out on a... Well, it was a waking night shift I worked, so I used to have a... I think I still got the lamp. Um, so I know Christmas can sometimes, some people need to have sparkly things or bright lights to make them feel, well, it can just help the minds, can't it? Mental health and all that, eh? it can cheer you up. So a little tuck spot here and I've made a tag. Another tag here then that one pulls out. And then this one, beautiful paper, I think it's the words of a song on that with holly and then that one and I stamped inside that. So it just creates another little bit. And then the inside back cover, that's what I used to glue the raffia from the other side so it wouldn't come out. And then a little pocket here and I've made a little journal in there. It's not got the paper at the back, it's copy of paper. I've just stapled it, put a little sticker on it and you've got photocopy of paper in there um, to use. And that is the back of the journal. So it's a very, very easy tie closure. I've decided to use raffia. There's elastic on that, on the signature. Um, a very simple tie closure. And oh, there you go. And 
as I said, this will be for sale on my Minx Creations. On my Etsy, sorry, Minx Creations UK. Many thanks for watching. Bye.